Hello. So this is um, WWF Superstars May the 2nd, 1990. Hmm. And the opening contest. Uh, Perfect and Vince were on commentary, as always. Um, and the opening contest was the big boss man, and he took on uh, Mark Roberts, um, not the footballer, who um, I think played for Chester and Tranmere, I think. Anyway, that's a, another <laughs> another story. Mm. Yeah, so the big boss man, he won here quite comfortably with obviously with the Cyber Sun. Most of this match, they were talking about the mysterious convict who was going to come to what, the World Wrestling Federation and take his um, revenge on Mr. Boss Man. So we'll keep an eye on that and see where that leads. The next match was. Um, Red Tyler, who actually did have red hair, um, and he was taken on a Papa Shango, yes, Papa Shango, who probably would put a curse on me if he saw this video because you know, he didn't, you know, he's quite scary. Um, but yeah, uh, Papa Shango won with looked like quite a bad shoulder breaker because they didn't show a replay of it. Mm. Um, and then after that, they uh, they well, well, between that and I think it was after this one, they showed um, a clip from last week of The Undertaker and Berserker, where the Berserker hit The Undertaker over the head with his shield about four times, and he kept getting up, put him on the concrete, and then obviously that point where he tried to stab him with his sword. Yes, he tried to stab him. This is 1992, ladies and gentlemen, and Vince thought that having one of his wrestlers try and Stab the other one in the middle of the ring would make for good TV. Oh, Vince, really? Oh dear. Anyway, getting back to the point. So they, they're obviously going to have another match at some point, And of course, The Undertaker didn't take things very well. The Berserker. Mr. Fuji. You open the door. To the devil. Now you must pay for your ridiculous sins. <coughs> well, I shouldn't do that again, shall I? <coughs> oh. oh dear. I think I might be seeing the Undertaker himself. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Right. Uh, next match was uh, the Native American Tadonka, and he took on um, Brian Costello, and he yeah, beat him with the. But well, no one actually knows what he was called. I mean, the majority of the, what he did was the end of the trails, but no one really knew what he was called, really, to be honest. The name kept changing, so yeah. But yeah, um, he won. And then the Rick, Rick the Model Martel came out and they were yapping. And then Martel was like preening on the side of the ring. And then Tatonka attacked him from behind. Yeah, <laughs> a baby face attacking a heel. I mean, who would have thought? Uh, 1992, Jimmy Slavo. Um, and then they were talking for a bit. And then basically Martel baited Tatonka to come out the ring. He did. And Tatonka, with his arrogance, sprayed it right into Tonka's face and um, in his eye, actually. And then, yeah, so. And then Martel just carried on going, yeah, look at me, I am a greatest. I can't do his accent. That was bloody awful. I won't do that again. <coughs> um, so, yeah. And then they went backstage with like. Tatonka was like, ah, there's pain, do something, do something. So, <coughs> yeah, try about the coughing, but, you know, what can you do? Um, the next match was a tag team match, and it was the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, uh, Ted DiBiase, Owen I. Shystar, otherwise known as Money Incorporated, and they took on Ron, Ron Cumberledge and Chris Hahn. This match was, like, pointless. I, I didn't see what he was doing. I mean, a lot of the superstar matches were like that, to be honest. But the ending was weird. IRS hit 
Chris Harm with a clothesline, and then like Vince was going, he's knocked out, he's knocked out, and then he pinned him. It was odd, but yeah. One, two, three. Um, the next match, again, another tag match, was uh, Tom Bennett and his tag team partner, Dwayne Gill, um, with really long blonde hair in this, and they took on uh, the new tag team of High Energy, that being Coco Beware, and uh, Owen Hart, yes, and they actually look quite good in this match, and they obviously won quite comfortably, and they both did like a flying thing off the top, so yes, okay, good, good, good value for their victory. And then the main event of the evening, will I come to in a minute, because they did do a uh, on-podium interview with the World Wrestling Federation champion, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah, the Macho Man. Um, I can't do his voice. It's so hard to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was talking about what happened at WrestleMania. I had to do what I had to do. Oh, God, I really can't do his voice. <sighs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, he... Um, and he was talking about that, and then he said, for the first time in World Wrestling Federation history, the champion was challenging the challenger. And that's you, Nature Boy Ric Flair. Woo! And so, the back to the main event of the evening. The main event of the evening was uh, Skinner, um, and he was taking on, to tobacco in his mouth and all, um, the uh, returning... Ultimate Warrior. So yes, and um, yeah, Warrior won this quite easily. Just battered him really, um, but he seemed to be quite vicious in this. Quite different to what he was before, but yeah, and he got the free, and he got the victory. Um, so that was the end of the show, and then next week they will have the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Former World Wrestling Federation champion. Did you have to say that? Well, yeah, it's true, Rick. It's true. You are a former World Wrestling Federation champion. You're styling. You're profiling. But you're still a former World Wrestling Federation champion. Yes, you are. You are. Yes, Rick. And he's going to be taking on Sergeant Slaughter, front and centre. And, um... He called Flair, he called him the slime ball, scum, and of course, everyone's favourite, a maggot. Yeah, we all love to hear such and sort of call somebody a maggot. It's always fun. That is your main event for next week. And this has been Will Nitro, and you've been watching WWS Superstars May the 2nd, 1992. And I know, you'll have to know, I will know, that I am Will Nitro. You're my wonderful, beautiful audience. And remember, when you least expect it, and you don't know what's going to happen, you can rely on one thing in this world. And that is World Nitro. I thank you all, and good evening.